Welcome to another truck hardware installation tutorial. Today we're installing our updated three-piece skid plate on a 2024 F-150. This skid plate will fit on 2015 to current F-150s, but will not fit on power boost or lightning models. The biggest improvement to note on this kit is the new access door on the front panel. We'd also like to note that there's an optional fourth piece add-on that will cover the transfer case, which is sold separately. Remember, this video is to be used as a companion to the included installation instructions. With all that out of the way, let's get started. To start, remove all factory felt liners and metal skid plates that are attached to the first and second cross members of your vehicle. Depending on the engine your truck has, there will be different covers. For engines with 2.7 liters, 3.3 liters, and 3.5 liter engines, like in this video, please remove the hardware seen here. For 5 liter engines, please remove this hardware instead. Due to the differences between the trucks, additional hardware has been supplied to make the installations the same. This means you may have some extra hardware left over once you're done the install. Use this additional hardware to add spring nuts to the vehicle when needed, since due to the position of these factory guards, you may not have the same factory attachment points as we do in this video. With the guards removed, go to the front of the vehicle and install the two Z brackets included with your kit onto the locations seen here. If your vehicle has a 5 liter engine, you'll first need to install some provided spring nuts into the positions circled here. Loosely install the Z brackets into these spring nuts using a 3 8 inch cap screw, a 3 8 inch lock washer, and a 3 8 inch flat washer. Once the brackets are in place, grab the first piece of your skid plate assembly and align it onto the truck so that the holes on the skid plate line up with the clinch nuts on the Z brackets. Secure the plate to these holes using 3 8 by 1.5 inch cap screws, a 3 8 inch lock washer, and a 3 8 inch flat washer. With the back of the first plate still loose, Grab the second plate and slide it over top of the front piece. Make sure you line up the holes on the second plate with the two holes on the back of the first plate. Now while holding the second plate up, secure the back of it to the spring nuts on the middle cross member using two sets of 3 8 inch cap screws, 3 8 inch lock washers, and 3 8 inch flat washers. Make sure these screws are only loosely installed since we need to fit the next skid plate piece over top of them. Once the rear of the second plate is in place, secure the front of the plate using the same hardware. Next, grab the third skid plate piece and install two 5 16 inch spring nuts onto the sides of the plate like seen here. Now grab a 5 16 spring nut and T-bolt from your kit and position them onto the areas of the rear cross member, circled here. The spring nut will be positioned on the driver's side, while the T-bolt will go onto the passenger side of the vehicle. Now grab the third plate and slide it into place over top of the second plate making sure the notches on the front of the plate properly line up with the previously installed cap screws. Then install a supplied 5 16 inch cap screw, a 5 16 inch lock washer, and a 5 16 inch flat washer into the previously installed spring nut. Now secure the T-bolt to the skid plate using a 3 8 inch flat washer, a 3 8 inch lock washer, and a 3 8 inch hex nut. With the rear plate in place, slide a 3 8 inch spring nut onto each side of the vehicle frame like seen in the following clips. 
loosely install Z brackets onto these spring nuts using a 3 8 inch by 1.5 inch cap screw, a 3 8 inch lock washer, and a 3 8 inch flat washer. Secure the brackets to the skid plate using two sets of 5 16 inch cap screws, 5 16 inch lock washers, and 5 16 inch flat washers. Lastly, grab your access door and secure it to the clinch nuts on the plate using four sets of three 8 inch cap screws, three 8 inch lock washers, and three 8 inch flat washers. Repeat this process for the other access door taped onto the skid plate. With everything installed, Take the time to make sure everything is centered. Then proceed to make sure all hardware is tightened. Congratulations, you've just finished installing your skid plate. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe. Check out the rest of our channel and our website for additional tips, tricks, and installation guides. Thanks for choosing Truck Hardware.